Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the second part of the Freepin Cal Robot Advisory Template User Guide. In the first part, we have looked at steps one, two, and three. Now we are all set to go to steps uh, 4A, 4B, and the rest. In step 4A, you have six other financial goals. So other financial goals, meaning any other goal other than retirement. For example, let's say you have, you have a daughter's education. Uh, is this goal flexible? No, it is not flexible. You cannot take too much risk. You cannot delay it by a few years. And how many years from now will you need the money? You need the money uh, after 16 years. Your daughter will be ready to uh, finish school. You will need it then. When will you start investing for the goal? You will start investing immediately. So you can just leave it blank or it's zero. Current cost. Well, this is hard to estimate, but you'll set it as 25 lakhs. Uh, 24 lakhs and uh, the rate at which the above cost will increase that is the inflation the default value is 10% but if you want you can press yes and you can scroll down and use a higher or lower number I will use 12% just in case so after 16 years 25 lakhs will become one and a half crores that's the amount that you need at 12% inflation uh, when your daughter leaves uh, school and is about to enter college. I know that's scary, that's fine. Um, let's say you have about five lakhs invested so far, two, three, four, five. This is five lakhs in total, equity plus fixed income. And the suggested asset allocation for your current investments is 60% equity and 40% fixed income. The post-tax return from equity is assumed to be 10%. You cannot change it. The return from tax-free fixed income or taxable fixed income, I should add that taxable fixed income is 7%, all forms of fixed income. Sorry about that, I'll change it. All forms of fixed income is 7%. Uh, the net corpus that's to be accumulated is about 1.5 crores. The annual increase in monthly investment is 5%. You can change it to whatever number. I just put it at 5%. You do that and you run the numbers, it will click and give you uh, the result just below you if, if you have a lump sum of 38 lakhs you can just put it in or you can invest 25,500 rupees a month for the next 16 years every year increasing at 5% a year the suggested asset allocation is shown here you can see the 60% equity remain flat and it just drops down to zero the fixed income allocation increasing so you can do this for six goals so this is two your daughter's marriage goal three your business goal uh, you have a world tour as a goal and so on there's uh, they're all fixed in so you have five goals some of them are blank i've left it up so there are five six goals right there are six goals you can scroll it all the way down that's six goals you can enter as many goals as you want so that's done now you can go to step 4b in step 4b these are your recurring goals goals uh, that is money that you'll need every two years every three years every year for some kind of a medical test, maybe for buying a new car, buying a new washing machine, buying a new laptop, buying a new iPhone, whatever. For me, for example, I will need a laptop and I just bought my laptop in 2015. So maybe I will need it in another year, one more year. That's uh, how strong laptops these days are. They're conking out every two, three years. And after that, I'll need about money every four years or so. And I will need a laptop for the rest of my life. So I'll probably need it every four years uh, for about 15 times uh, so every four years for 15 times the present cost of a decent laptop where is uh, well high-end laptop i don't uh, I, I low end or me, uh, middle end it doesn't work for me something like seventy thousand just to be safe it's a good one sorry seventy thousand to be safe and then it'll tell you uh, how many times you need need the money 15 times when you need the money 2018 I'll buy the first laptop that'll cost about 77,000 2022 I'll need money for another laptop that's like uh, a lakh and 12,000 so for the first laptop I need to start investing 6,500 and I started start investing right now for the second laptop I need to start investing next year and, and so on and so on so you get all these details you can do it for four such recurring goals i just put it for one that's step 4b so you got four goals one two scroll down three four so as before save it 
every now and then so that all the data is saved and it doesn't crash and it falls off. That's it. And now you can go off to step five. In step five, there are no outputs or inputs. This is just a set of instructions that you need to follow about where to invest. So suggested products, you can either choose the free from Cal plumb line, select a list of mutual funds, or you can, there are links to pick your own funds. Uh, you can choose a balance fund for certain type of goals. You can choose uh, for short term goals, what to do for long term goals, for goals of, uh, longer than three years, what to do. And so on. There are a lot of text there you can read. I don't want to go through that, but I think it's more or less self consistent. I mean, I mean, uh, 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 in, in terms of what it wants and uh, and self-sufficient, everything is there. So you can just uh, look at it and hopefully it'll tell you what to do. If something is missing, you can always tell me. I can I can I can uh, add it to a next version. So these uh, this is not the final version. It's just version one of the robot template. I can always change it as often as I want depending on user feedback. So that's step five. Now let's go to step six a. And in six a in the advanced version, you will have the independent portfolio approach and the unified portfolio approach. In the basic version, the unified portfolio approach will be absent. You will not get anything down there. So in the independent portfolio approach, what it means is, I explained this in part one, suppose you have three goals, retirement, son's education, and daughter's education. In the independent portfolio approach, you will treat them as three independent portfolios. They will have their own fixed income and equity allocation. They will have their own uh, investment amounts necessary, so you will invest for them independently. In the unified portfolio approach, there will be only one portfolio and only one investment amount, and uh, you will factor in all the non-recurring goals. Recurring goals cannot be used. Non-recurring goals, which are more than 10 years away, which are more than 10 years away, and you will, for example, your daughter's education was 16 years away. So a few years before your, uh, the time when she is about to uh, go to college, you'll start the drawing money from the unified portfolio. So you'll have about five withdrawals for the daughter's education, five withdrawals for your son's education, five withdrawals for your final goal. Let's say in this case, it's retirement. And after all the withdrawals, the unified portfolio will go to zero. And then you start using that money maybe for retirement or you spend it for your edu son, children's education, marriage, whatever. So that's how the unified portfolio works. There are some limitations to the unified portfolio. Sometimes it may not give you an output. If it doesn't give you a meaningful output, then the meaningful output meaning sometimes it will not be able to calculate the monthly investment required. If it is not able to do that, then you will have to remove some of the goals and redo the calculation again. So there'll be a prompt for you to do that in, in the sheet. So now let's get to step six, step six A. So in the independent portfolio approach, you will see a summary of all the goals here. You can choose to add or remove the goals from the cash flow here, or you can choose to say, I'm going to invest a lump sum or a monthly investment here. If it is a lump sum investment, it will not be shown in the cash flow. That's it. And then the recurring goals can also be added or removed from the cash flow sheet. That is the cash flow sheet in step 6B. And, and then the unified portfolio is described here. Um, maybe I'll add this picture right there so it'll give you a better uh, imagery right there. So it'll tell you how it works. And here you can add or remove goals from the unified portfolio approach. And that is it. The rest of it is pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Now you go to step 6b, scroll back right to the top here. Now this is the independent portfolio approach and you've got to scroll to the right the, to see the unified portfolio approach right there. There is a division which is by this gray column divides the two. In the basic version this will be absent. You will see this only in the advanced version. So Let's start with the independent portfolio. It's just, this is just, in, uh, most of it is just output. There are some entries here. Let me explain. So this is the year, uh, the age, when certain life events will occur. For example, you have a business tour, uh, sorry, you have business need, a world tour, daughter's education, daughter's marriage, retirement happening, when that, uh, that'll happen, that'll be listed. And the money required, monthly investment required for each goals is listed here. There are two more which are blank. The monthly salary as you have input in step two is given here. 
The monthly expenses will be shown here. The monthly investment for recurring goals will be shown here. You can add that or subtract that depending on that. For example, I can just add it and then it'll show you the recurring goal for the laptop. That there it is. That's a laptop goal. You can enter EMI or any other liability or loans that you have. You can enter it. These are, I mean, you have to manually enter it for how many years you want or how many years you have. Now, given your salary, given your monthly income, total income, including rent and whatever, uh, so after subtracting your monthly expenses, after subtracting the money required for recurring goals, after subtracting EMI or other liabilities, if the total money available from your income is less than the total monthly investment required for non-recurring goals, then these cells will become red. If you see too many red cells like here, you will have to reduce your aspirations in some extent so that you can invest enough for your goals. If there are only a few red cells or the red cells vanish down the line, initially they're red and then it becomes uh, white later on, then it's okay, you can manage with it. So, but if there are too many red cells or if all of them are red, then you have to reduce your aspirations. You may not match your goal. So you have to reduce some of them. So be, be careful how you play with it. Of course, th this input depends on whether the goals are in the cash flow or not. If you remove the goals from the cash flow and calculate, then it may look uh, nice and uh, 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 green. So don't worry about, uh, don't take that too seriously. You ought to be careful how you process this information. So be careful. If you aspire too much, the monthly investment will be more in the independent portfolio. Now, why do you want to choose the unified portfolio? In case the monthly investment is too much for you, then you can treat it as a unified portfolio and redo the calculation Sometimes, sometimes, if a solution is possible in the unified portfolio, sometimes the total monthly investment required may be lower than the independent portfolio. That is the advantage, but the risk has to be managed much better in the unified portfolio. Please read what is written there uh, in step 6a about the unified portfolio. And here you can, uh, if you go to the unified portfolio, you can say at what rate will you increase your monthly investment in the unified portfolio, let's say 5% total amount available to be invested. This is taken uh, from your other sheets. This is the total amount in the other sheets. For example, this, this is it. Uh, sorry, but, uh, one second. This is this 48, 48, 53. It takes you in, it, okay, it's not sure. There it is. total amount and sorry I need to search for my own sheet the big sheet and excuse me so this is the total amount invested so far in all other goals except retirement retirement it will not be taken so this is the total amount that total amount will be reflected here and this will be added whatever you have already invested so far your current investments will be fed into the unified portfolio approach I hope I'm, I've made myself clear on that so this current investments will be taken and it will be added to the unified portfolio at the start and then you will be uh, once you click the investment schedule, it'll give out the monthly investment required, initial monthly investment required. That's just one lakh twenty-three thousand. For example, here, this for in this case, notice it is initially lower. Total monthly investment required is initially lower, but it uh, in the first year is lower than this, but it quickly picks up fast. So sometimes it's, it's the unified portfolio is better. It depends. I don't know. You have to figure that out for yourself, depending on the outputs. Uh, of depending on the inputs that you give, the outputs will vary. So the unified portfolio approach will give you the suggested equity allocation, the net portfolio returns, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. These are fairly self-explanatory. You can read that out. It'll take you some time to get used to it, but please recognize the simple idea behind the unified approach. There's a single portfolio. You will have some amount in equity, some amount in fixed income. Uh, as each goal approaches, you will start withdrawing from the unified portfolio. This is the first goal, second goal, and the last and final goal. You'll withdraw, and then the unified portfolio becomes zero. For example, the last goal here is retirement. So after you withdraw from retirement, you can follow, you can redo the calculation, and then uh, uh, then the robot template will tell you what to do in retirement. So uh, there's a connection there. Uh, uh, it's all in the same uh, plan. It's all already taken into account what you need to do for a time. So don't worry about that. So it will take you some time to get used to it. This is a, it's a monster sheet. Uh, even if I don't look at the sheet for two days, I get confused 
uh, where's what. So it's, it's going to take you some time. Take it slow, step by step. Read the, uh, uh, each input, reach each output. Play with it. Play with it step by step. See how one uh, output uh, uh, changes uh, depending on how you change the inputs and so on. Play with it. It's not. It's, it's going to take you some time to come up with a plan. I mean, uh, for somebody who understands cal these calculators, they can do it fast. But if you're new, it's going to take you some time. Start with the basic version. Don't touch the advanced version. Now, I'm showing you the video for the advanced version because it's easier for me to make just one video for everything. But please... Uh, take your time and if you have any questions, you can always email me. I'll do my best to answer them as uh, quickly as I possibly can. So that's all that I have to say about this. I hope uh, the sheet is useful to you and uh, good luck and happy investing. Take care. Bye-bye.